A few months ago when I was doing that video called Cameras I Have Known, I failed to mention the movie cameras. Well, here we go. Now, the very first one that I actually used was this Keystone Mayfair. And uh, it was a camera that my dad had actually used quite a bit. And what was really nice about this camera is that the film was loaded with a magazine. It was a 16 millimeter, by the way. And uh, the uh, magazines were very similar to those cassettes that we are very familiar with that the Super 8 cameras used uh, in the recent years. Up to about, what, 20 years ago, I guess, when video took over. Uh, anyway, uh, this camera, I put probably two magazines through it because they were very expensive and because at that time I was only about 15 years old and so money was a big issue. But this is the very first one. Now this camera here was the very first one that I had that was actually mine. It was a regular 8. It was called a Calamar TV Zoom. They gave it that fancy name. And it had a pretty impressive looking lens on it for those days. The only thing is, it didn't take really good movies. They uh, weren't all that sharp. They were always a little bit fuzzy, no matter what I tried to do. And I don't think I had it all that long. I, I can't even remember how I got rid of it, but I, I'm sure I had it less than a year. This camera here, it was older than the Calamar, but it was actually better quality. It was a Bolex, regular 8. I had it in 1964. Uh, and then again, I didn't have it very long. And once again, I can't remember who ended up with it, or why. Now this camera here was by far the best movie camera I ever had. It was a Bolex H16, a very popular camera back in the 60s and 70s. And the lens that you see on this camera, this is the lens I had. It was a beautiful lens. It was uh, probably what you'd say ahead of its time. Now this was a 16 millimeter camera, of course, and it was very expensive to buy film for 16 millimeter. So the only time I'd do any film with it was if I could get somebody else to pay for the film. So I made a film for two outfits. One of them was called Camp Arnez, and that was in Manitoba. I don't know if any of you remember seeing a film from Camp Arnez around 1967, 68, and you might have remembered, but I doubt it. It said, Photography by Ron Calverly. Well, that was me. Around 1977, I got this little uh, Canon 310XL, and it was a Super 8. Very slick little camera. It came with a little leather case. You could actually put it in a large pocket. I took a lot of really good movies with this camera. A lot of family movies, from when our kids were born, right up through until around 1982, 83. Then I started shooting video. Oh my, here I go with another box of memories. And I promise you, this video will not drag out like the last one. Now most of those movies that you see in there are Super 8. They were taken with that Canon 310. But this one here, this will be the, this will be the oldest. This will be the old regular 8. This is what was taken originally back in 1962, 63, 64. Well actually that large 16 millimeter reel goes back to the very early 50s. Now I haven't opened this up for many, many years. This will be the first time in many years. Now I like to keep my videos honest. That really was the first time in many years. No dead spiders. Be interesting to see if it's seized up. Okay, we'll plug it in. Now one thing's for sure, I'm not going to turn the lamp on 
because these bulbs are getting very hard to find. So let's just see if it'll run. Well, it didn't want to turn over on the first try, but it did on the second. Well, it's a good sign. But like I say, I'm not going to try the bulb yet. Every second you use it is just one second more. It's not going to work. Well, that piece of paper is my screen. And I guess you can pretty well see what I'm doing here. And I just copied that reel. Uh, ran it through. It took about 20 minutes, I guess. And I'll show you a couple of clips. This footage here was taken with that old Bolex 8mm camera. And this was taken with the 8mm Kelamar camera. As you can see, it's sure not high definition. I don't have any samples here to show you that were taken with the 16mm cameras, but trust me, they're a lot better. Anyway, this video is about the cameras, not about the film.